In 2022, Netflix introduced a harrowing true crime documentary to its collection, with the addition of Worst Roommate Ever, a series that narrates astonishing real-life accounts, the platform ventured into the realm of universally relatable experiences. Following its remarkable success, Netflix collaborated once more with Blumhouse Productions in 2024, transforming the acclaimed docu-series into a franchise. The spin-off, titled Worst X Ever, premiered on Netflix, and it is safe to say that the themes explored in this series resonate even more deeply with audiences. The concept of dreadful ex-partners is a familiar experience for many individuals globally, thereby enhancing the universal appeal of this true crime spin-off. Similar to its predecessor, Worst Roommate Ever, the new series devotes each episode to a distinct narrative. From heinous betrayals to life-altering injuries and horrific abuse, the inaugural season of Worst X Ever captivates viewers with chilling testimonials and dramatized depictions of terror. While each narrative is unsettling in its own right, one particular episode in Worst X Ever stands out as the most shocking. Worst X Ever reveals Foster attacked multiple women. The inaugural episode of Worst X Ever, titled Dating the Devil, features a particularly malevolent ex who directs his wrath not only at one former girlfriend, but at several. Benjamin Obadiah Foster serves as the central figure in this episode, which includes interviews with women who were involved with him over a span of 10 years. The episode of the worst roommate ever spin-off immediately delves into the trauma experienced by the victims, showcasing Angie Milner, a friend of Foster's primary victim, Justine Siemens, as she discovers the severely injured Siemens, who was near death. Before delving deeper into her narrative, the new Netflix spin-off provides a platform for several victims to share their harrowing experiences with Foster. Amber is among the women who candidly discuss her distressing experiences with Foster. She met Benjamin in 2012 while employed at a hotel in Las Vegas, and they began a relationship. Initially, their first year together was free of incidents, and they eventually moved in together. However, the situation took a severe turn, as Amber began to notice Foster's jealousy, which manifested in his discomfort whenever she interacted with male acquaintances or ex-partners. His anger escalated, and he resorted to condescending behavior, often speaking to her in a harsh tone. Two years into their relationship, a fierce argument culminated in a shocking incident where Foster struck Amber with considerable force, displaying overt rage. Although he was mandated to attend domestic violence counseling and perform community service, he quickly reverted to his previous abusive behaviors, continuing to stalk Amber and physically assault her once more. Foster's criminal record didn't stop him. In 2017, Benjamin's life was transformed by the arrival of Jaime, who quickly became his romantic partner. Jaime described their first year together as relatively typical. However, a sudden shift occurred in Benjamin's demeanor, becoming increasingly aggressive and controlling. In a particularly alarming incident, he forcibly restrained her, shaving her head while justifying this abhorrent act by claiming that no man would ever find her attractive again. He kept her confined for 16 days under dire circumstances, during which she suffered significant harm. Eventually, Jemmy managed to persuade Foster to drive her to a supermarket. Seizing this chance, she escaped from the vehicle and sought assistance to reach a hospital. Benjamin Foster had a disturbing history of criminal behavior, with multiple similar offenses recorded over the years. However, it was his 2021 conviction for kidnapping and abuse that resulted in a prison sentence. 
albeit a brief one, which he completed within the same year. Following his release, Foster began a relationship with Justine Siemens, and the two appeared to connect well. Yet, as depicted in the opening scene of the first episode of Worst X Ever, their initial bond was abruptly interrupted, leading to a series of unbelievable criminal acts. Foster died. During his attempted escape, at that time, Benjamin was a suspect in attempted murder, assault, and kidnapping, and authorities believed he was armed. The police dedicated several hours to surrounding the residence where Justine was discovered, suspecting that Foster was hiding beneath the house. Despite their efforts to persuade Foster to surrender, he tragically ended his own life with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Although he was still alive initially, he was pronounced dead a few hours later. While the news of his death was shocking, it also meant that the potential for more victims to endure unspeakable horrors was averted. The inaugural episode of Worst X Ever provides a voice to women who have endured the heroine.